Hey guys, it's Jill and today I'm going to be sharing you how I get my everyday curls. This is my go-to hairstyle, especially for school. I can curl my hair like this once and then wear it curly for like three more days without having to touch it up. This is something I am requested to do a lot just because I curl my hair so often. It's super simple and easy and fairly quick. You only need a curling wand and a couple of products and you have curls that last for days. The curling wand that I'm using today is the Paul Mitchell Neuro 1 inch clipless wand. I'll put everything I'm using too in the description box. So before I put any product in, I'm just going to brush out my hair and I'm using the wet brush and if you have not tried the wet brush, you're missing out. Like seriously missing out. The bristles are soft, that way if you have any knots or tangles it just slowly detangles them and it never rips out your hair. And it's really hard to explain unless you use one, but once you start using a wet brush, you'll never want to use any kind of brush again. Next, I'm just going to put heat protectant on my hair, and I'm not going to lie, I don't always do this step, like, I almost, like, never do this step, and that's really bad. You should not, not do this. And then finally, before I start curling my hair, I'm using the At The Beach Sea Salt Hair Mist from Bath & Body Works. You can use any sea salt spray, just like you can use any heat protectant. These are just the ones I have on hand, and this one smells really good because it's from Bath & Body Works. And so I do recommend it. I like it a lot, and it's relatively cheap. This spray kind of just messes it up and gives it some texture because perfect, pristine hair is not really in. You want your curls to be fun and have texture to it and just be everyday, not perfect curls. So again, I have thick hair, like two C's kind of thick. We've got a lot going on. And whenever I'm curling it, it takes a long time. And so if I section it in three layers and do super small pieces, we'll be here all day. I'll miss whatever event I'm curling my hair for. Like, it's too long. Without doing definitive sections, I've learned to do it faster and it also gives it more of an everyday look. It's not as perfect. It's kind of more messy and fun. Before I curl, I just make sure my part's where I want it. This is where I usually place my part. Sometimes the middle part it, but just for everyday, I usually just do a right side part. I divide it into two sections from the back and just pull it to the front of my shoulders. And then to start curling, I take one small section from the back I take my curl Ooh. I just knocked over a can of hairspray. But I take my curling wand and I just place it behind the piece of hair and just start to wrap around. This section is kind of small. I could have taken a bigger one, but just for the sake of showing you how I wrap it. I'm gonna wrap every single piece away from my face. That way it just gives me more of a voluminous curl. When I let go of the hair, I caught it in my hand and I'm just gonna hold it for a couple seconds. This is what's going to give you a long lasting curl. And you're going to be kind of scared at first because this looks like a little ringlet like Shirley Temple curl. It'll fall, don't worry. By the way, my curling iron is at 390 right now, which is way too hot. You don't need to put it that hot, but it's just a really bad habit that I have. But if you have thick coarse hair like me, 390 will definitely work. It's probably not what you need, but it's what will work. So I'm starting to take some bigger sections because that other section was just way too small. Again, I'm placing the curling wand behind the hair and just wrapping backwards away from the face. And then I hold it there. I have like count to 20, but it's not 20 seconds. It's like one, two, three, four, five. Also touch the outside pieces of hair to see if they're warm. And whenever they're warm through, I know that the curl's done. And so I'm just going to slide it off of the wand and into my hand and then I'll hold it there for like 10 seconds because this is a really basic way to curl your hair there's really nothing to it you can do tons of different things you can alternate curls like do one away from your face and then one towards your face that'll give you more of a textured beachy look honestly I'm not really good at that it always ends up looking really messy when I do it and not in a cute way so I don't do that very often. And whenever a piece is curled, I just throw it over my shoulder. Because I'm curling the back sections right now and they're gonna be in the back of my head, I kind of take bigger chunks just because you don't see them as much and this is just an everyday look. But whenever I get to the front of the face, I'll take smaller sections and I curl those pieces a little differently. I'll show you that in a minute. I'll just do one last piece before I speed it up. Wrapping away from the face. 
And whenever I do this, I curl all the way down. I don't leave a lot of hair out. Just enough for me to be able to hold the hair. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna tilt the wand and then drop it in my hand. That can be kind of tricky to get a hang of at first. I'm gonna speed the rest of this up until I get to the front of the face just so you don't get bored because it's pretty repetitive. Moving on to the front section of the hair, I'm going to be taking much smaller pieces, mostly because to me, good hair kind of just comes from what the front looks like. I'm not saying the back of your hair can look bad, but it just, the front of the hair is kind of what you're looking at. And so if you're in a rush and this is supposed to be me curling my hair quick, it really, let's focus on the front. It's still the same basic thing, except I'm kind of tilting my curling iron up to give it more volume, but I'm still gonna curl it for about the same amount of time and then drop it in my hand. See how I'm going more up than to the side? Okay, now I'm taking the last couple pieces that I curled and wrapping them around two fingers while they're still warm and pinning them at the top of my head. I'm using my viewfinder as a mirror, so it's kind of hard to tell if I'm doing this right. My mom's in Houston and she just asked me if I need anything from the Morphe store. That's the kind of text that like really make me happy. I don't need anything, but that's just a good text to, to get. The cool thing about Morphe stores, like in person, I've only been to one, but you get to say the code at the register, like, so you get to the register and you're like, can I use code Jack Attack for whatever percent off? And it's just kind of funny because usually you just type it in. I don't know, I get a kick out of that. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the camera because this side we're doing exactly like that side. Okay, so back to the front of the hair, I'm just again taking super small sections and then pinning them up at the end. I'm so out of music right now, y'all. Like, it's kind of sad. The way I listen to music is like I pick like one album or like a few songs and I just listen to that like on repeat for like three months. And then I get bored of it and I just move on. But I have nothing to move on to right now. Like I've been listening to Billy's new album for probably since it came out like every day, like it's all I play. Which is kind of sad because like I do like other music. I just, I don't know. It's just easy to go on my phone and just press like the album and just go about my day. Basically what I'm getting at is I need new music. So if you've watched this far, comment what you're listening to right now and give me some music recommendations because I need them. Boom. What do I look like? I look like a koala bear but like not as cute. I usually just let it sit for like five minutes and then I take it down. So it's been about five minutes since I finished curling my hair and I'm just gonna take these two clips down. And so this is what you're left with after all the curling and it's kind of scary. But what you wanna do is just take your fingers and start brushing through them. If I'm really going for just a natural wave, I'll take my wet brush and just comb through all of the curls. But today I want something a little bit more divine, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm also gonna take like a wide tooth comb and kind of just brush through the ends. What I'm about to do is really what gives you that volume. I'm using the Fae 4 Texture Takeover Spray, and this has kind of like a dry shampoo feel to it, how it's powdery and it really gives you so much volume, but also a lot of hold. I'm just gonna flip my hair over and just shake it and spray it. And then flip it back over. And so now your hair is like kind of huge, but just kind of comb through it until you're happy with it. That's not it. Once you've got your hair kind of tussled into the way that you like it, I spray it one more time. And for this, you don't have to use a texture hairspray, you can use any hairspray, but I like this one, so I'm just gonna stick with it. 
And then I'm taking the Chi Silk Infusion. And this was just like a hair, I would say oil, but it's not an oil. It's just like a, it's not a gel either. Well, I guess it could be considered a gel. And it's super oily. And I just kind of rub it in between my hands and run my fingers through my hair. And y'all, this makes the world of difference on your hair. It makes it so shiny. And then also it makes it a little bit healthier. It hydrates it after all the damage that you may have caused on it because you set your curling iron too high. But I love it so much and it smells really, really good. It's a good little finishing touch just to make sure your hair is smooth and there's no flyaways. Honestly, with the help of the good Lord and some dry shampoo, I can make this last for a solid four days. I don't have oily hair or like scalp. And if I do, I have so much hair that it kind of like distributes nicely. So my hair doesn't get oily fast and I can, can make this work for a couple of days. All right guys, that is how I get my everyday curls. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more like it, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.